Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a large winter storm that'll be coming to the United States on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and this is going to bring a load of problems including very heavy snowfall that'll lead to upwards of 6 to 12 inches of snow in parts of the Central Plains, the Northern Plains, the Midwest and perhaps a little bit in the Ohio Valley and this will also bring the risk of severe weather including the threat of a few tornadoes and a couple of those could be strong so we will be breaking down everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening in the united states right now because we actually have a winter storm that is actively happening and this has already brought actually a few tornado warnings down to florida notice this is the entire low pressure system and it's actually a very large area low pressure is going to be centered over pennsylvania and back near the dc area but notice there is some showers and storms in very far southern florida now by the time you see this forecast most of that storm actually actions moved out but we did have a few tornado warnings down there today and again this is not the winter storm that we're talking about that'll be impacting the united states on monday tuesday and wednesday in fact this is a completely different one the winter storm right now is bringing heavy snowfall and as well as even it brought some ice to parts of virginia but a lot of heavy snow will be upcoming over the next 24 hours across new england new york even new jersey and back through pennsylvania if you want to know more about this winter storm and what impacts it'll bring tonight and tomorrow make sure to watch my video from this morning that goes over over this now back further to the west things are a little bit different it's pretty dry overall across the great plains few passing showers but nothing too crazy some cloud cover as well there has actually been some snow in parts of the midwest today we actually saw a few inches of snow near chicago but back over to the west in the west coast of the united states that is where our next storm is currently and this is going to really grow in size very quickly it's going to become a very large storm as it moves into the central and southern plains and basically what it's going to do is explode an intense Density, bring showers and storms to much of the southern plains and the southeast and it'll also bring the winter storm threat for the central and northern plains the midwest and maybe even parts of the ohio valley so again we're going to break down every detail that you need to know about this particular storm right now so let's begin first with the future radar give you an idea of what's going to be happening here over the next few days beginning with tonight again we'll have some snow ongoing across the northeast that'll continue throughout the day tomorrow it will become lighter the further in the day you go so again closer to like three six o'clock in the afternoon most of that snow will be pretty light and it won't accumulate to much more now once we go into early monday that is when that storm will begin to move into the central and southern plains notice the european model currently estimating that this will be a 997 millibar low pressure system a strong southerly wind will allow for a lot of moisture across the central and southern plains and that'll lead to some severe weather threats across parts of the gulf coast and back into very far southern parts of the southern plains notice again showers and storms Monday morning in parts of Texas and then back into Louisiana and again notice on the northern side of this that is where some moderate heavy snowfall will ramp up Monday morning so again not really that far from now we're only about 48 hours out from the heavy snow beginning in parts of Kansas once we go into Monday evening this storm continues to roll slowly to the east severe weather will be a concern across immediate areas in the Gulf Coast so again southern Louisiana southern Alabama southern Mississippi the Florida Panhandle and southeast Texas all need to be mindful that a few tornadoes will be possible i'll be talking about more specific details on the severe weather threat in a few minutes now on the further northern side of the system again heavy snowfall will be possible throughout the day monday and as well as going into the overnight hours into tuesday morning notice this snow will all move into the midwest with maybe even a little bit near lake erie as we go into tuesday morning so if you're in northern ohio northern indiana and michigan be mindful there might be some snow there and then once we go throughout the day tuesday this will continue to ride through the midwest and eventually as we go into Wednesday and Thursday that will move out I'll be talking again about more specific details on this in a few seconds notice there will be a little bit more snowfall as we go into Thursday morning in the Midwest so we might get a little clipper system coming out of Canada that might bring an additional inch or two of snow but again by no means does that look to be a winter storm by the time we go into Friday into Saturday we might get another winter storm going but again the European model has been quite inconsistent about what this exactly does yesterday it was showing 30 inches of snow in the Midwest today it's showing zero inches of snow in the Midwest so it gives you an idea again there's just a lot of uncertainty with this particular storm that would be coming at the tail end of next week now let's take a closer look at this winter storm beginning with the central plains this is sunday morning again we will not be seeing anything tomorrow but what we will be seeing going into monday morning is the threat of some snowfall so notice as we go into monday morning there will be a rain snow mix across parts of central and even southern kansas now the snow will really ramp up as we get closer to 9 to 12 o'clock again during the late 
late morning hours and that will lead to some heavy snowfall across central western and northern kansas there will be some light snow across nebraska back through south dakota and as well as back through colorado as we go through monday afternoon that is when that snow will just continue to fall so again if you're in central kansas that seems to be the bullseye for the most snowfall out of this particular event and then once we get closer to monday night into tuesday morning this will start to shift to the east and that is when moderate to heavy snowfall will begin to move into areas like kansas city back through northwest missouri and as well as parts of iowa and once we go throughout tuesday that snow will continue to shift off to the east we might even see some snow leak into northwest arkansas and eastern oklahoma but overall accumulations will be very minimal in those areas i'll be showing you the accumulation in just a second but let's go to the midwest now the midwest will be looking at some snow as well so as we go into monday night that is when it'll begin again we're not going to be seeing a full-blown winter storm monday night i think a lot of this will be light snow across iowa back through western illinois but overall a lot of this will be a mixture of rain and snow and one key thing in the midwest that i think the european model is having trouble picking up on is that the temperatures right now are forecasted really throughout the entire day on tuesday to be around 33 to 35 degrees across this entire area though it shows a lot of blue that doesn't necessarily mean it will be all snowfall and one key thing unless it's very heavy snowfall i think it's going to struggle to accumulate initially i think a lot of the snow that we see in the first few hours it'll fall but on elevated surfaces it should accumulate but on the roadways and stuff it will struggle because of the surface temperatures likely to be around 33 to 35 degrees for the majority of the day that's a key thing that we need to pay attention to going into tuesday and notice there will be some moderate to heavy snowfall but i still think a lot of this will be mixing with at least a little bit of rainfall throughout the day on tuesday and then once we go closer to tuesday around 12 o'clock again snow will continue and then eventually as we go into the evening hours moderate to heavy snowfall will still be falling near chicago and a better chance of straight up accumulation perhaps even on the roadways will exist going into the overnight hours tuesday night into wednesday morning but a lot of that snow by then will be pretty light overall and here's what the european model is thinking right now in terms of the surface temperatures again this is pretty critical this is tuesday around three o'clock again most areas will not be even at freezing notice only a few areas will like southern wisconsin some isolated spots in iowa currently being forecasted to be below freezing so we need to watch this very closely because this could make a big difference between seeing you know 12 inches of snow or six inches of snow for example it'd make a pretty big difference here and again, even around 9 p.m on tuesday again it's gonna probably be right near the freezing mark but it's gonna be very key to watch when we actually go to below freezing temperatures here's what the european model thinks in terms of seeing greater than one inch of snowfall in the central plains going to monday night into tuesday again notice most areas around 100 percent chance in parts of nebraska kansas and missouri in terms of four inches of snowfall or greater there's gonna be a pretty small area i think it's gonna be mostly southeast nebraska and central and northern kansas so those would be the main areas to see that in terms of total snowfall accumulation again right now the european model indicating that a lot of areas will see between four to eight inches of snow i think that's a safe number to say at this point for western and northern kansas there might be a few isolated spots near 10 inches but i don't think we'll get cl too close to a foot back over in northern missouri and back through illinois again those areas likely to get around four to eight inches of snow as well and the st louis area will probably be on the fringe there of seeing maybe two inches or four inches of snow here's what we're looking at in terms of the probabilities again of seeing greater than four inches of snowfall european model again still thinking around 90 percent chance across much of the midwest even showing some areas at 100 percent again it's just a prediction but i do think this area overall is probably around 80 to 90 percent i think that's a reasonable number again it really just means we still have to watch the freezing temperatures that'll be pretty critical there in terms of the total snowfall european model again showing four to eight inches of snow in a widespread area across missouri wisconsin iowa and even into illinois again will we see 10 inches of snow i think it's really going to be contingent on whether the temperatures do drop to below freezing quick enough that'll be something to watch for but on elevated surfaces i think that's almost a guarantee that we'll at least see somewhere in the ballpark of four to eight inches across much of the midwest now let's talk a bit more about that severe weather potential as we go into monday into tuesday right now there is a slight risk of severe weather right along the gulf coast for monday and tuesday it shifts over to the east including florida georgia south carolina north carolina and even southeast alabama main concerns for monday are damaging winds and a few tornadoes a couple of those could be strong and then as we go into tuesday damaging winds will be the main concern with maybe a couple of tornadoes being possible low level jet will be cranking this is going to rotate supercells in the lower level so right along the gulf coast low level jet will get upwards of 50 to 60 knots might even peak around 70 knots so that'll really rotate these supercells as we go into monday same thing with tuesday as well here's the timing going into around 12 o'clock monday storms will be off coast we'll be watching these storms going south to north these are gonna be the ones to watch for primarily for that tornado risk going into monday afternoon once we get closer to six o'clock storms right there in southern louisiana 
Louisiana and even southern Alabama and Mississippi will be the ones to watch for for a few tornadoes so make sure you have a tornado action plan in place this mostly turns into a line of storms as we go into Tuesday so damaging winds will become the main concern a few embedded tornadoes though entirely possible on Tuesday and by the time we go into a late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning a lot of this will all clear out to the east in terms of the temperatures we do have an arctic blast coming up i'm gonna have a full dedicated forecast to this here pretty soon arctic blast looks likely as we go into mid-january around january 13th to 15th stay tuned make sure you subscribe to the channel we'll have a video on this here pretty soon thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already